It's Friday night. Friday night in Benidorm. Out of season. I was going to say you wouldn't believe it's Friday night, but out of season anyway is very different than in season. And in a way, thank goodness for me because a couple of pubs last night that were busy, they were pretty grim too. Really, uh, what we want to be coming to Benidorm in the peak season. Look at these guys. Are they the Beatles? Maybe. I think so. White Star. I don't know who they are. White Star, look. <clears throat> Still, I would say at least 50% of the places are closed. So, I'm looking to get a proper meal today, tonight. Whereas last night I went out and gave up because I went past the KFC and just gave in. <laughs> Uh, tonight I'm not going to give in. I can't afford to give in. Well, I can afford to financially. Just don't want to. I like to get a proper meal. Bloody Vespa inside the shop there, look. Nice little Vespa. I'm going to swap over here because all these lads. Yorkshire Pride. Flamingo Bar. Rovers return. So that's what I need. When I find places that do food, you know what places? They're always like uh, really busy. Well, they're either empty like that or really busy. Hmm. Let's keep going, eh? Famous shots, jumping jacks, any kebab places. They get up for the old late night kebabs here for sure. It's not a bad thing to do. Most people out here late get drunk and then eat late. There's another thing I've considered, look, but maybe not one quite as old as that. The old camper van. Camper van, drive through France, all through Spain. And I'm beginning to think I might have done enough for Spain now, though, for a while, certainly for a while. Uh, Italy's calling me, as is other far off places, Asian destinations. But then my family's calling me as well. Let's get back and see my dad. Tony Romas. Should I go and look at that? Is that a restaurant? You don't seem to have any uh, restaurant restaurants. Yeah, uh, so Tony Romas does look like it's uh, uh, it is a restaurant. It says best ribs, so I'm going to get ribs with steak in there, anyway. That'll do. Can't afford to walk past it to look for somewhere else because somewhere else doesn't exist. There's very few places. This looks alright, it's a proper restaurant. I'll be getting in there. Have a little look at the restaurant. Burgers, grills, desserts, ribs, beef rib. 20 quid, 19 what, euros, so sandwiches, it's pasta, scampi. It's all pretty regular. Pasta lovers look salad, but they're super healthy. It's all right, I'm going. Where is Tony's ribs look? I don't know what they taste like, there's an advert going around that they uh, started cooking them in 1972 or something. But uh, I'll let you know what they're like. I'm on sparkling water as well today. No alcohol day. Cheers.
Let's try Tony's bridge. Yeah, they're okay, but only okay. They're hot, but only just hot. Flavors are right. I think I'll get through them. <laughs> what I need now is good American accent, good New York accent. Well, Tony, you know, you serve up ribs like that, Tony, gonna cut your fucking balls off. You're not gonna last, you're not gonna make it. You wouldn't make it somewhere posh, but he's probably done all right in Benidorm. Terrible slight on Benidorm then. Didn't mean to come out like that, but I don't think there's any, uh, well, maybe there is. If someone knows of a really nice restaurant in Benidorm in Levante Beach area, let me know. I'm gonna walk down, but not today, not tonight, I don't think. Gonna go down to Old Town. Might go down there tomorrow. Oh, well, there's a big restaurant over there, look. See that green to my, there? Let's turn the camera around and have a little look. There we are, look. Take back everything I said. Upstairs looks really nice. Now, I've also seen, so I've not really walked anywhere at night apart from the main strip. And uh, actually, definitely is a proper restaurant, Cafe Paris. And then here, it's almost car free. It looks like it's the shops. So, Hmm, have to take back quite a lot of what I said from the area where my hotel is, which is all the, uh, I call them younger bars or disco bars and all that. Does look a bit nicer up here. Home of bowling. Oh, it's all arcade games. They're definitely not for me. Well, I'm going to walk a bit of this and see. Walk off them ribs, which were pretty average. Uh, nothing special at all. The taters were a bit weird. The chips were a bit weird because they were like just flat. They were, they looked like they were big thick chips, but they were hollowed out and curled. Which, no, it's just the way they make them, isn't it? The ribs were soft enough, tender enough. So, uh, yeah, look, look at this diner here. This looks like it might be slightly nicer, for instance. I've been told Old Town, as I've said, Old Town is totally different. Like a burger bar, diner burger bar. So I'm looking forward to Old Town. It's like anything, Benidorm is a big place, so you have to uh, spend time here to learn all about it. Well, I've spent enough time here to know I don't want to learn any more about it. Not even this area, really, I don't think, because it's too closely connected to everything else. It's just not my style. What is your style, then? Don't know. But it ain't that. Hmm. Little pizza place, look. I don't fancy walking much further. It all seems about the same. And if I'm having a, if I'm having a non-alcohol day, there's no point in me going out or into a bar. Can't really just sit in a bar and have a glass of water or something. So the lights, quite interesting. I wonder if somebody knows. I think they might be, uh, well, they certainly should be uh, solar powered because they've got all the cables connecting them to trees and the poles that are everywhere and it lights the whole place up like it's almost indoors. But of course it's not, it's outdoors. 
And I don't think there's any electric cables going to it. I think they're suspended. I bet on the tops they've got solar panels. So they're solar lit. It would make sense. Surely there's no electric going through them. I'm walking parallel also to the beach. Oh, there's a roundabout up here, so I'll go up here to the roundabout and I'll turn around. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's... Comment below if you know. Are they solar powered? <clears throat> Oh, talking about solar powered as well. What's well, a bit ridiculous? That new hotel I'm in, brand new hotel, built last year. All the hallway lights are not censored, as in they stay on 24 hours a day. You think they'd have a sensor on them when people walk into them, the light would come on, and after a certain time, the light would go off to save the electric. No, lights on all the time. You can see it from under the door of your bedroom. So, while well, little old me might be recycling, one big hotel like that is probably wasting more than I'm even recycling every day or every week. Why do they do that? Why do supermarkets still wrap things up in plastic or not currently recyclable plastic? Big, all the big supermarkets all around the world. All around the world, I've been looking for you. Jam, isn't it? Bit of weller. Well, this roundabout do me. I really fancy walking any further. It's gonna take me 10 or 15 minutes to walk back. Oh, shit. Another KFC. It's not what I want to find, really, is it? Luckily, I've eaten. I've had the American scabby ribs so I won't be interested in having any more scabby KFC all down there look I reckon it's like this it's about a 20 minute walk to Old Town so yeah. uh, I guess it's like this all the way down through into Old Town and I really don't know whether I'm walking on the path of the road because the road kind of cuts through everything. Mackie D's there, look. Burger bars. No, Trevor, don't go in the bars. Not today, you're having a night off. Of course, as you'd expect with me, I'm going to walk a different way home. Madeira Central, four star. Looks really nice. That's a bit closer into town, a bit closer to old town as well. So maybe that's a better location where I'm located. I'm located at the bottom end where more of the nightclub bars are. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to walk a different way. Probably going to get lost. Very surprised if I don't. But if I go up here, take the first turn in right and go straight down, my hotel should technically be on the right. Who knows, huh? So, yeah, this is the kind of first right turn. It's light enough as well. I don't really want to be walking back on old streets or dark streets that looks quite nice in there look doesn't it looks more like old town although we're not in old town yeah looks a lot nicer looks spanish menu of the day Pork tenderloin, paella, braised beef sirloin, codfish, fish of the day. All very good, all very traditional, but I imagine a big gang of people there, young people. I imagine uh, 
thought Old Town would look a lot like this. Yeah. Oh, look at that, that looks all right in there. So wrong, really, wasn't I? Of course I was wrong. I'm always wrong. I'm judging everybody a quarter of a mile of where you're staying. If you're younger and you like crazy drunken nights out, stay in my hotel where I was. If you're not, head a bit more towards Old Town, even halfway towards Old Town where I am now, would be nicer. Mexican, that is. I do need some more customers all around then. HP Centre, four star. Looks nice all around here. I think Benidorm's got more four-star hotels than any other, as it turns out. Uh, open to turning a football sport on, so I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to find the U-Bank fight tomorrow night. It's a pay-per-view thing, so I'm not quite sure how that will work out, but looking forward to seeing U-Bank knock that scouser out. Los Alamos. Four-star. There you go. Look at the amount of dartboards in this place. There's about... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... About ten dartboards. All lit up. Something I've never played. Never been a pub gamer. Not for me. Look at that funny shape building. All different shapes at the top. Yeah, I was thinking to give you an idea where I'm staying. I've basically been offered if I'm allowed to say blowjobs in class <laughs> blowjobs in class A drugs every two or three hundred yards and the one girl when I turned it down almost interrogated me as to why not. So, it's obviously short of a bit of business, but yeah. It's, just, I, it's not a very nice area, I, I think, now walking up here, going back to the area where I am now. It's where all the big bars are, like the Western Saloon and all that. And if you're anything of a certain age, or not even certain age, if it suits you, it suits you. doesn't suit me. Maybe these t-shirts give you an idea of Benidorm. I think so. Very likely. Thank you. I don't need to worry about that there, do you? Put me in the shoelaces undone. Yeah, back amongst it. I think I can just see my hotel there. Oh, I can't because it would be lit up at night now. I'm about five minutes away. That ah, looks nice, look. But again, maybe nice places. Burnley and West Brom, three minutes into the game. Maybe nice places don't fill up Planet Benidorm. Alright, so I know I'm back in the right area, but. Can someone tell me who these four guys are meant to be? It's not the Beatles, is it? George Harrison, Paul McCartney, Lennon at the front, Ringo. Can't be Ringo, can it? I don't know, let me know because they're walking on a fucking... Zebra crossing look, one's not got no feet shoes on, so 
I think it is. Uh, I think it is. And the other problem we just encountered again, when you get back into this area and a bit further down there where there's lots more lights, people outside every bar hassling you to go in. And uh, it's just a pain in the ass because you just can't go by without being bothered by people. Miserable fucker, ain't I? Miserable old bastard. Hey, you are, look, I'm back. I got a guy shouting me over there because I stood still to start the video. There's a guy shouting me over there, offering me all sorts. It's a bit unnerving, really, especially when you're a pensioner like me. <laughs> I used to be able to hold me own with the best of them, but don't want all that shite now. Definitely not. Get back in there. Get back. Uh, Back in the hot tub tomorrow, I've sussed that hot tub out up on the top deck as well. It's warmer first thing, earlier in the morning you go, it'll be warmer. I went in it twice today, I went back in it about three o'clock. The temperature of the water had really dropped. So, no good. The bar's in here, all right. The, I looked at the restaurant for eating here tonight and it's the same as the kitchen where I have the breakfast. So that wasn't no fun. I've opened up the bar underneath today. And that Presidente Hotel there, walking on yesterday, I watched two women fall down them stairs. I've cracked their head on the concrete quite hard. Amazing. Right. I'm not going to go now, but I'm hopeful I'll be able to see the old Eubank fight. That's been closed every, the first two days I've been here, but it's open today, so that's quite good. Look, I've got an arm coming out of my head. I'm also a bit surprised here because it's such a nice hotel. They don't have um, like the lift would be activated by your key card. Anybody can just come in that side door where I come in and just get in the lift, which maybe isn't ideal. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm off back to bed. Breakfast in the morning. Love that.